Ever since I bought my first slow cooker about 10 or 11 years ago, I have been absolutely obsessed with making beef stews in it. I love the versatility, that you can change the ingredients based on what you happen to have, that you can change the flavours with different herbs and spices, but most of all, I love the idea of gradually perfecting a recipe over the years until you get it to just the way you like it. Well today I'm presenting to you one that I hope you will absolutely love. It's my all-time favourite slow cooker beef stew on the One Pot Chef. First things first, we're going to prep our meat. So into a large Ziploc bag, I'm going to put in half a cup of plain flour. And I'm going to season it with a little bit of salt and some pepper. And then just seal that up and give it a light shake just to mix everything together. And I'm going to be using this seasoned flour to coat our meat and it's going to help to make a lovely thick gravy when we start cooking this all together. Now all we need to do is pop our meat into the bag. I've got one kilo or about two pounds of beef cheeks. Now this is a really cheap cut of meat. I always use a cheap cut when I'm making a beef stew in the casserole and these days I almost always go for beef cheeks mainly because they've got a lot of extra fat in it which renders down and becomes lots and lots of flavour. It's really tasty. They come across as this really sort of tough meat but I promise you when you cook them in the slow cooker they will absolutely dissolve into beautiful tender chunks of juicy meat that you will absolutely adore. So we've got our meat in there so we're just gonna zip that up and once again we're just gonna toss this around. <laughs> I didn't zip that up properly, how silly of me. Let's try that again. Gotta love it when things go wrong on video. <laughs> There we go. Just give it a toss around. I've got most of the flour still in there until all of that meat is coated. So the meat is coated and I've just quickly cleaned off the counter because you've got to love it when things go wrong at the last minute. Uh, that's all tidied up so we can set this aside while we work on our other ingredients. Into the pot of the slow cooker I've got some potatoes. I'm using some red potatoes today and I've just diced them up. I've got four potatoes in there. To that I'm going to add in three carrots which have just been chopped up. One small brown onion diced up. And a bit of celery as well. And to add in some lovely flavours I'm going to add in a couple of cloves of crushed garlic mixed up. About two to three teaspoons. Two tablespoons of tomato paste or concentrated tomato puree. And this is my big secret ingredient. This is the one that really makes this absolutely the most amazing flavour. I'm adding in a tablespoon of smoked paprika. This adds this wonderful smoky, almost bacony flavour to it. It is just extraordinary. Give this a good twist of black pepper. And we're just going to add in our floured meat. Now a lot of people will say, oh you should brown the meat before you put it into the slow cooker. Well I disagree on this one because this particular cut of meat, the beef cheeks, it really lends itself to the slow cooking process and if you try to brown it first you tend to end up toughening it up more and making it really dried out and it doesn't come out as nice. This way it comes out absolutely gorgeous. Give this a quick stir together. I'm going to add in some liquid beef stock. I'm putting in four cups or one litre. Just pour it straight over. And for a little bit of extra richness and savouriness, I'm just going to give a bit of a splash of Worcestershire sauce. Now, I'm not going to put a specific measurement. It would probably be about one to two tablespoons roughly. Give this a final stir together. And that's pretty much it. All we need to do now is put on the lid and we're going to set the slow cooker to the low setting and allow this to cook for eight hours. I strongly recommend that we keep it on the low setting. Don't use the high setting because I find the meat comes out so much better when it's cooked low and slow. 
While our beef stew is simmering away in the slow cooker, I thought I'd take this opportunity to remind you to check out my social media, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Links in the video description underneath this video on YouTube. And speaking of YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, click that little notification bell and the subscribe button. That way you won't miss out on any of my new videos. It's been about seven and a half hours and we're into the last half hour of cooking. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to add in some frozen peas. I'm putting in about two cups of frozen peas and I'm just going to quickly stir them through and then we'll let them cook for the last half hour. They don't take very long to cook and they'll add a nice splash of color while also increasing the veggie content. And you can see that meat there has already broken down and is incredibly tender and soft. So are the veggies. This is going to be so delicious. It smells amazing. Lid back on and we're going to leave that for another half an hour and then we will be ready to serve. Time's up and let's take a look. Yum. Put my ladle in there and look at that. How beautiful. The veggies are nicely cooked. The meat is lovely and tender. You can actually see it literally falling to pieces. And of course the sauce has lovely and thickened up. It's not just a liquid, it's actually very gravy-like. I can't wait to dive in and have a taste. The best thing about making a beef stew in the slow cooker is that you can literally do this any time of year. In the winter, it's a warm and filling dish that really just heats up every square inch of you. And in summer, you're not heating up the entire kitchen to make a meal. So it's just a bonus either way you do it. So time for me to dive in and have a taste. Oh, we've got a lovely big chunk of meat. Mmm. Oh my God, so tender, I barely have to chew it. Mmm. <laughs> the meat is cooked to perfection. The fat has rendered down and released all of its lovely flavor into every square inch of this. The vegetables are beautiful and tender. The potatoes have sucked up lots of flavor. You've got wonderful veggies all through it and the gravy is thick and delicious. All you need is a crusty piece of bread to soak up this gravy and you're gonna absolutely love this. Well, I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Check out my other videos at onepotchefshow.com and until next time, see you later. My adding of the smoked paprika to this recipe actually was a bit of a happy accident. I went to go and buy some paprika for a different recipe and when I got home from the shops I found out that I instead of getting regular paprika I'd accidentally bought this smoked paprika. Thought I'd give it a go and I instantly became totally obsessed with it. I've been adding it to everything. It goes into my stews. I even add a little bit of it to my spaghetti bolognese because it just adds that wonderful smoky bacony flavour that is absolutely extraordinary. Try it and you're going to become obsessed too.